Hello everyone, Christian here. Whether you're a long time subscriber or a first time viewer, I'm glad you're here. Today we are building and reviewing Captain Rex's Y-Wing Microfighter, set number 75391. This set does contain 99 pieces along with one minifigure that does bring up a pretty sensitive debate, but more on that in just a moment. It does retail for $12.99, which is pretty on par for the Star Wars Microfighters. Last year they had one set for $9.99 and another set for $15.99, so 13 cents per piece. Definitely not bad. Now the reason I said this minifigure brings up a sensitive debate is that it contains the Captain Rex minifigure, which of course for the Y-Wing you would expect. The reason it is a sensitive debate is that this minifigure actually came out in the LEGO UCS Venator set number 75367 a few months back as an exclusive minifigure, which was a small selling point for the Venator and also for resellers. You can buy a $650 set and get a LEGO minifigure that's worth $1 to $200, there's a big selling point right there. Now, for those who didn't want to or weren't able to afford the $650 Venator, you were unfortunately out of luck on getting the Captain Rex minifigure as it was specifically exclusive by Lego. You were either forced to buy this on the secondary market at upwards of $150 or wait and see if Lego would end up coming out with another set in the future at a much lower price point. So if you're one of the lucky people that waited to hopefully get this minifigure in the future, congratulations. To those who purchased it on the secondary market at inflated prices, I'm sorry, I definitely don't think LEGO should have noted it down as an exclusive minifigure for that set if it wasn't going to be exclusive in the long term. Now that we've gotten the controversy out of the way, enjoy my first stop motion video. It took me about five hours and isn't that good. Now I grew up watching the Clone Wars as I assume a lot of you guys have as well. Seeing Rex and the Y-Wing always stood out to me in those final shots of the perfect show finale. I've always wanted a full scale version for this set, but for now the Microfighter will do. The Y-Wing build itself is simple yet effective, nothing that specifically stands out. You have a printed dash piece along with updated stud shooters, the thrusters on the back do look nice, a small area where Rex sits, and since Rex didn't come with the waist cape, he does fit in nicely. Here we have Captain Rex, one of the greatest clones that ever lived. He fought alongside Ahsoka Tano, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, groups such as the Bad Batch, the Ghost Crew, and the Rebel Alliance. He actually fought all the way up into Endor with A New Hope. Now, as a figure, Rex has received several updated printed parts all the way around, which does look amazing. The arm printing is fantastic, and I love the detail put in. The slash marks actually represent the missions that were accomplished, not kills, as some people do expect. The symbols on his helmet are called Yay Guys, which is actually a mark of honor for Acts of Courage. The pauldron does look great, although it does hide the great arm printing on the figure. Unlike earlier years, this Rex doesn't have a waist cape like before, but actually printed legs on the front which personally I don't like. If they had printed the sides and the back of the legs as well, I'd be okay with it, but since there's only printing on the front, it just looks off. It feels like it's missing an important part of the outfit. And the helmet now has holes, which allows for his rangefinder or his antenna to be on the helmet like the show had designed. The minifigure head is Rex's head, not just a blank or a random clones. The bandage on his forehead is actually from the removal of the inhibitor chip, which means this figure is representing Rex at the end of the Clone Wars series, basically the season finale. In conclusion, should you buy this microfighter? Well, that depends. Do you own the Venator already? Do you already have Rex? Probably not. If you don't have the Venator and you wanna get this figure, it's a no brainer. You're buying this microfighter simply for the minifigure, not the set itself. Overall, the minifigure is great. My only gripe would be he doesn't have that camo cloth. Other than that though, a great figure, arm printing is awesome, and the microfighter build isn't bad, simple and effective. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. In my next video, I will be reviewing Spider-Man's Final Battle. Thanks for watching.